Hi, this is going to be a really quick uh, update on what I've been doing. Um, really quick because I want to get back to playing Witness, actually. <laughs> <clears throat> and so, um, what I have been doing is finishing up some of this trim. I can't say finishing up, working on this trim. And um, I actually need to get your opinion about something. I really, really need um, somebody else's opinion on what to do here. What I've been doing is um, I finished up all the corners of my cornice and I have all of the uh, cow heads on and I am putting in these vertical um, beams, these columns that go up the building. And I discovered something uh, that is bothering me that I didn't realize was going to happen until I got to this point. <clears throat> I realize now that on the real building, uh, the, the decoration up here with the, uh, the cow heads actually belongs on a horizontal beam that sticks out from the surface of the building about the same distance as these vertical columns. And if you notice over here on this side, it's really noticeable. Um, the surface of the decor, this the carvings, needs to be sticking out flush here, and so there wouldn't be this gap. And I, because I did the, the posters first, and then I put these beams on, I first put the beams over the top of the posters, and that didn't look good. And then uh, I decided I'll, I'll just break it there. And so that's what I did. Uh, but it, it really doesn't, really doesn't look great. And uh, I guess I'm um, wondering if I, sh if I should take off all of the posters and put the beams on and then put this uh, belly band around that sticks out uh, flush with these beams or these columns rather um, and and then put the posters back on. It, it seems like a lot of time to spend doing that but um, I think it's gonna bug me <laughs> maybe if I don't. But I just want to get your opinion and um, so if you wouldn't mind um, putting a comment in for me and let me know if you think that that's something I should do. I can do it off camera um, and and then uh, just you know show it to you later. I, I, I'm kind of thinking that, that might be the way I'll go. Uh, but anyhow so I have been building um, building out these beams and it's really it's really disappointing that I'm putting in all of this work and unless you have side lighting or something you just can't see it. Um, you know maybe if I put some outdoor lighting in uh, to shine up uh, you know it, it will it will show up better. I mean if you turn on a, the uh, light you can kind of see it better. So maybe that's the uh, maybe that's the thing I have to do is just put in some some lights because you can see them uh, and then some other additional things get applied um, like there's a, a band that goes around the center of the beams uh, and then there's the carvings that go on the sides of these towers um, so I mean uh, it, it's coming along but it, it is going to be just a long process uh, I don't know so I guess, yeah, the sun's going down now, so I'll just leave my light on. So what I was doing is um, just putting these beams on. Um, and I got them into the position that I want them. This guy needs to be longer, I think. And um, I was just uh, snapping them in. And obviously I don't want it to go across like that. Uh, Although now I guess it doesn't matter because I am going to put in the uh, the belly beam, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, so I'm just using the control and then 
it's shifting up. And actually, you know, I need to, I just restarted the game. So let me uh, first change the game type real quick so that I don't die. And then um, change the, and I know that my, when I'm recording, my screen cuts off the uh, left side there. <clears throat> what I just typed was set P, and I'm going to set it at 60 because I know that that's something that works for what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to page. Oops, what did I just do? Yeah, okay. So page up. the right spot. I'm going to do this one. Control, page up. Oops. Is there one in this corner? I don't think that there is. Let me look at my picture. I'm still referring to my book. Um, it has pictures of the building. There isn't any in the corners. But there is a column on the outer corner of this uh, door thing that sticks out. Um, bay window, I guess you'd call it. So let's make it as long as we can. And I believe it should come out. Wow, that's strange that it's turning around like that. <laughs> um, let's try. I think that's going to be about right. But that doesn't line up with the column beneath, and they kind of do. Let's see. I do it like that. Maybe I should make it, and they are square. It's not a round column. Maybe I should put it there. That kind of will be. I could make it fatter, but I don't think that's what I want to do. Um, I want it to kind of line up with the column beneath it. I think that will be okay. Maybe I'll go one more. And then... Like so. Let's see how that looks. Oh, it looks just swell because you can't see it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call it okay. Kind of just. I really think I should have chosen a different stone. This building. I'm not loving this stone now. 
so it's a little late for that. show you before uh, that I put those chandeliers up in there? I did. Oh, and something else they did. They just put out a hot fix um, today. And I guess there's another one coming uh, because uh, I reported and other people reported that there was, um, well, there was an issue with the rotation that wasn't working correctly, and now it is. Um, but there was an issue with the posters flickering and also with the siding flickering, which I showed you on the last video, um, and it was severe. And um, they, they put out a hot fix, and it seems to have made a big improvement. I am getting a little bit of flickering, not a whole lot. You can see the lion on the, above the doorway is flickering, and then where I've got that overlap right here, it's flickering, um, and a few other little places. but. Um, for the most part, um, like this problem in here is solved, although now I'm getting some seams that I wasn't seeing before. But I can live with that. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy that they fixed that. And they're, they're just, um, this is JIW Games. Um, the guy's name is Red51. That's his screen name. And he is, um, they are really, really responsive on um, the forums. If you have a problem and you post what it is, I actually posted a little video of what was happening, and um, they were right on it, because this is um, something that, that uh, started happening after the last update, and um, like that was four days ago, and they started fixing little things just as soon as they put that update out. People were commenting on what was going wrong, and they were right there fixing it. So. I think that's pretty awesome. This is just a tiny little company, one guy and a couple of helpers, and and he is just like right on it. He is really working hard to make this a great game. Um, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty happy that uh, they did that. And, you know, and I, in some ways, it's kind of maybe foolish to. To build something this complicated and and um, uh, you know intricate and big as what I'm trying to do, but other people are doing it too. And and the reason I say it's maybe foolish is because you know this is an alpha, this is a, this is a baby game. We haven't even gotten to beta yet, um, but uh, you know so they could put out a new version and the whole thing could fall apart and it might not be savable. But, you know, it is what it is. It's just a game and if it goes away, I'll be sad, but um, it's okay. I mean, I'm having a good time and uh, I'm pretty impressed with what all you can do. Um, probably I would have liked Minecraft had I ever gotten into it. Uh, you know, I know people that play it and they love it, but I'm really all about how it looks and the fact that we can do so much more in terms of um, making a building that's, uh, you know, realistic looking and, um, and that we have all of these different kinds of materials that we can use and different ways of putting stuff together. Uh, I know Radio Man is building a log cabin now, which is <laughs> very cool. Um, I'm going to have to try that. Uh, he's the first one I've seen actually working on that um, since they since they got us the, uh, the columns, um, which is just pretty awesome. Well, actually, these are made out of blocks, but the, um, the log columns. Um, so he's building a log cabin, and that's pretty cool. So you should check out his channel, Radio Man Zero Three. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, I, I think it's um, I think it's really awesome that they're um, being so responsive with um, what they're doing. Now, how did I do that? Shoot, I just kind of eyeballed it, didn't I? So I think I'm going to put this. Is this as long as it can go? No. I think I'm going to try and eyeball this because uh, at 60, if I set my P to 60, it's going to be tough to get it to um, align where I want it. But I think I can get that right there. Hit Control, and then I know that two clicks back, one, two, at 60p, will get me to just about where I need to be. Let me check that. Oh, it's really close, but not quite there. No, nope, that is where it belongs. I think. Let me check it over. So yeah, that's not sticking out that much, is it? Why does that look like it's not on the ground? It's definitely touching the top of that block. Hmm. Okay, so let me check it over here. That looks right. I'm just I'm just eyeballing the oops the depth. That looks pretty good, I think. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to take and just pull it over here. Whoops. Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't look the same. Did I do three pieces? I think I did. Oh no, I didn't. That's only two. But it looks. Where is the end? So it's in a little bit more, isn't it? I mean, it's into the right a little bit more. Uh, well, maybe not. Let's see. That's a block plus a little on either side to the window. And a block plus a little on either side to the window. Yeah, okay. It's. It's about right. It's just kind of an optical illusion, I guess. It doesn't look perfect. Oh, that's my timer. Okay, I'm going to pl uh, place these and uh, call it a short piece. Maybe I'll add to this before I put it up. But um, wow, time flies when you're having fun. Well, I'm having fun. I don't know about you. Boom. Boom. Okay. Cool. I wish we could uh, see this in the daytime. In fact, we can. Let's have a quick look at this in the daytime. TOD. 8. Return. Yay. Turn off the light. Does it look decent? I can't tell. There's too much shade. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to put some outdoor lighting because that's the only way we're going to be able to actually see this very well. I'm starting to get, you can sort of start to see the verticals there. Um, wow, it's really interesting when the sun's coming up that you can see totally everything inside because there's no curtains or anything. Wow. This thing is giant. It looks like a high school. <laughs> Doesn't it? It looks like an old-fashioned high school. Um, well, anyway, 
that's it for today, or at least that's it for this recording. I might tack a little more onto this. But. Okay, I am back. This is I, the thing I'm going to tack on to the end of the other recording. Um, I did a little bit more work on these um, beams, uh, but I got a little bored doing that. So I decided to try something that I've been wanting to try. Remember way back when I first did the uh, banister and I used the vases. Well, I didn't like that and then I tried this. Uh, so I'm not crazy about this either. Um, this I tried after we got the, um, the round logs. Um, and, you know, it just it looks too Art Deco-ish. So I thought, I'm going to try something else. And what I tried to do was make one of these little spindles that's like turned wood. And I did it by um, turning a log, a sliver of log on its edge and then spinning it around and then doing it in different sizes and stacking it. Um, and so I've come up with this design. Let me shut this door so you can see. I've come up with this design here um, that I think looks a bit better. Um, anyway, I've got it. I've got it produced. I don't. I haven't blueprinted the entire thing. I've just blueprinted the spindle and put it together. Um, so, in addition to, I'm asking for comments about whether or not you should think I should um, fix the um, posters with a beam under them. Um, I'm also going to ask you, please, to comment on this. Tell me if you think this will work better. Of course, it doesn't look like the original, but it's closer. The original is turned wood. Um, tell me if you think this will work. And if, if you like it, then I will duplicate it and take this out and put it over here. I think it's better than this, but, but tell me if you like this one with the straight um, round pieces, uh, log pieces. Let me get down here so you can see the silhouette. This one or this one. And again, if you, if you, uh, if you like this, or even if you don't like this, but you would like to see how it was made, um, I think that when I get ready to make furniture, I'm going to be using a lot of the same techniques. Uh, in fact, I may just save the spindle and uh, reuse it, maybe for table legs or something. Um, because those are the things that we can do. We, it, curves are hard, but they're not impossible. And so you can do something like this by spinning around um, the different pieces, different shapes, and um, putting them together and creating something out of the little bits and pieces. Um, this is a square beam right here with a round uh, log on top of it uh, to make it look like a shaped banister type thing. And then, um, and then we've got our spindle all made out of the logs um, in different shapes and spun around. Uh, so that is the... Um, that is the choice that we have. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, and let me know, please, in the comments, let me know if uh, you would like to see me create something like this from scratch, um, especially when we get to be d doing um, like furniture, because uh, that is something that I know that not a lot of people do. And it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit more difficult, of course, than just building with blocks and beams, but uh, it can be done. And so, and, and it can be done in survival. You do not have to go into creative and, and so-called cheat to do this. You can do it in survival. It's totally copacetic. It's not cheating. Um, so let me know if you think you would like to see that and then I can do one or two um, 
recordings of just that kind of thing because I am going to make some furniture. I'm not satisfied with the modern furniture and I want something that's going to go better with this type of house. So let me know if you'd like to see that. Uh, and if you would, then please leave me a comment. If you uh, like what you see here and you've, you're a new uh, you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I'm going to be building on this humongous building for a very long time. <laughs> it's There is no doubt about it. There is so much to do and um, it's going to take me a while. So again, let me know about this uh, horizontal uh, band beam thing. Should I take off the posters and create a beam that comes out and is flush with this and then sticks out a bit over the windows. Um, I will take off all the posters all the way around the building and put that beam on if everybody thinks that that would look better. Um, I really think that because this is a huge building and because it has so much detail that it just doesn't make any sense to do it halfway. So. Um, let me know if you think you want to see me do that or if you want to, if you want to just see me uh, show it to you after it's done, probably that part you don't want to see. Um, so let me know. Again, um, give me a like if you liked this and if you didn't, don't. Um, but come on back and tune in again because this thing is only getting more and more detailed. It isn't getting any bigger, I don't think. Anyway. Bye.